your chair. So do you think it's weird that I find nighttime in the summertime in Slab City way harder than I do the daytime in the summer? And the reason for this is because it really takes a nice solar system or a generator that costs money to run um, to cool your house at nighttime after the sun goes down. I feel like up until maybe about 1 o'clock, I'm not super uncomfortable yet, right? And from 1 o'clock until about 4.30, um, till the sun goes on the other side of the RV, it's pretty rough. I can adjust myself with a fan and getting in the canal, right? But when the sun goes down at fucking like 9.30 and I'm tired and I'm ready to go to bed and it takes me an hour or two hours to cool my house back down to the ambient temperature it is outside, which is usually in the low to mid 90s um, at best. Um, the nighttime is where I find the no relief. And I have a hard time sleeping when I'm, when I'm really, really, really hot. And I don't feel like... Um, Low hundreds, high nineties is good sleeping temperatures. <laughs> I prefer blankets, you know what I mean, to wet towels and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I was just thinking about that. It, it, you, uh, I, I think most people have issues with the summer days um, when it gets too hot, and uh, for me, really, it's the nighttime that 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 be messing me up. It's a jalapeno popper, but I ate the jalapeno. Oh shit! Dance on it, man. Perky's on it. Look at that nasty down in there. So I'm using swamp water in the fucking swamp cooler. That shit was all caked at the bottom when I added water overnight. It rehydrated the uh, the gross. Uh, this is really fun to have to figure out how to clean this out and get the dog hair out of the pad so I can get this thing working again. It's going to be 97 degrees today, guys. Like, without being able to get in the canal and stuff, I'm I'm having a hard time. are actually doing pretty well. This one's in direct, direct sunlight. She gets a lot less water than the other ones. And then over here, as you can see, the pig pen gets the water. <laughs> so then we have this little one that's popping up. And we have those male flowers. And then over here, we have some more male flowers, no females. Oh, there's a female down there that I pollinated the other day. I don't know if it's gonna take very well. And then over here, we have this really big guy. Look at that, that's my hand in comparison. This is crazy. Sounds like this. No, that's not gonna work. So that's me holding it, kinda. It's bigger than my hand. And then we have that little guy, and then we have that little guy, and then, yeah, so we have pumpkins. There's two so far on Sunday. There's two so far on Sunday. I've killed two bombers with my bare hands today. So when I pulled the swamp cooler back out this season, it wasn't, and turned it on, it wasn't working, right? Um... It, there's some dog hair on the back of it, but, but but I think what the problem was is the uh, the swamp water had crusted across the bottom. Well, anyway, I put some water in it, let it sit for like a week and a half until it got hot enough where I, I decided it was time to pull it out and fuck with it. And uh, it rehydrated all of those uh, nasty flakes. Anyway, I had Tori help me dump it out and wipe it all down so there was no pond scum in there to, to jam the pump up with. And... Uh, and cleaned the pad really good, got all the dog hair and the dust and the nasty stuff off of it. Tori took it home and did that in her big uh in her big bucket. It uh now what's happening is the water is splashing off the pad and it's hitting the fan. And uh I don't know, Tori's in there looking at it right now. I played with it earlier, I couldn't figure it out. I had it positioned to where it did it at a minimum, but uh for some reason we'll put the pad back in there when the water comes down it splashes. I'll try to get a video of it. Hold on.